Now let's take a look at the train model and how to display the features. Let's go to the ribbon menu and select the Home tab, then select the Element Selection tool. On the dialog box for Element Selection, let's make sure that Individual and New is selected. And then simply left click on the green outline of the train model. Then move your cursor slightly along the line just hovering and the context sensitive toolbar will appear. And if you move your mouse up onto the toolbar, you can slide your mouse down and see the various commands. And these are all commands that will apply to the train model. From the menu here, let's select the properties tool. The properties menu will show up and as you move your cursor over the menu, you can see different information about the train model. You'll see toggles for the various features, the calculated features and source features. And let's turn the triangles on by going to the triangles, selecting the drop down arrow and clicking on, and you'll see the triangles display for the model. And you can simply reselect that and toggle it off. And let's go to the break lines in this next section and toggle them on. And you can see at the left end of the model, uh, break line showing up for the road. Now you notice that I moved my, as I moved my cursor, the properties menu disappeared. All you have to do to get it back, again, is hover over the boundary of the model, select the properties tool, and it will come back. Now that we've seen how to display the train model features, let's take a closer look at a couple of the features. The source features are the features that are imported to create the train model and include brake lines, boundary, imported contours, islands, holes, and feature spots. The image here shows the brake lines along the roadway and the feature spots are the point elevations. And these are the source features for this train model. The calculated features are derived or calculated from the source features and include the major and minor contours, triangles, spots, flow arrows, and low and high points. Now this image shows the calculated feature spot points, which are essentially a point elevation at every triangle vertex in the train model. Let's continue with exercise one, going to the home tab in the primary category select the properties tool. This will display the property windows docked on the left side of your screen. You may use the handlers to resize the window as desired. And you'll notice that as this window is displayed, it's showing the information similar to what was found on the properties dialog from the context sensitive menu. And you've got all of your controls to toggle on and off the display of your features. Now when this came up, if there was no information displayed, that simply means that the train isn't selected and you just need to come back over with your element selection tool and click on the edge of the train. With this property windows up, let's toggle the major contours, minor contours, and boundary features on. So I'm just going to double click on the major, minor contours. I'm gonna turn triangles off and brake lines off and the boundary is already toggled on. Now let's zoom into this view so we can get a closer look at the contours that are displayed and the elevations that are shown on the major contours. You can see the labeling on these major contours at 150 here, 145 here. Now if you wanted to change that interval you simply come over to your properties dialog and up in the top of the dialog we want to expand this out to where you see the train model you want to select calculated features and you may need to scroll down a little bit if you expand contours you will see that the major and minor contours are toggled on and if you click on contours here your information will change and you'll see the major interval and minor interval for the contours. We want to change this to a 20 foot interval so click in the field for major interval change this to 20 
and for the minor interval we want this to be 5. And you'll note that as you make those changes, your display is automatically updated. And in this particular view, we're only seeing one major contour at 140 feet. And if you move your view around, you'll be able to see some additional contours. And you'll see here that we're at 140 and 160, representing our 20-foot major interval. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.